But as you can see, my propane is totally off now inside the house. No more, no more propane. And I was saying, the only source of heat right now is my new corn stove. I was uh, skeptical at the beginning there about uh, these corn stoves. I heard so many stories, eh? So, it took me a long time before buying one. And even so, I didn't even buy a new one. I bought a used one because the stories were out there, you know? Almost like turbines. Oh, it doesn't produce any heat, it does produce heat, blah, 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 blah. Well, I guess the only way to find out is to buy one. Jesus Christ, can I put this friggin' thing inside there? And would it stay? So, um, I decided to try it, because we grow a lot of corn here. And there's a fan here, it blows here all the time. There's a little fan inside there to help to uh, burn the corn. So now I just put the uh, thermometer there, and we'll see how high it goes. So there's a blowing fan here right now for the past uh, two days we burned a bushel and a half. So that's about a bag and a half, 40 pounds, 60 pounds of corn. But like I say, we, we grow our own corn here, so uh, the logical thing to do was to uh, buy one of these a long time ago. I never did. <laughs> it's my first one. So, but I am enjoying it. The, the warm air is very warm. <laughs> um, we're reaching that, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but uh, we're at 120 right now, but I'm still rising. I just put it in there. And uh, there she goes. See, in front of the stove right there. So we're just reaching 150. Look at the heat coming out of there. Okay. I'm having problems to tuck, to, to hold it on there because it is so hot. There she goes. She's at uh, 150 plus, going on two. Bad camera, eh? So, you know what, people? <laughs> Pro uh, propane is expensive, has to be delivered. This we got for free. A long time ago, I should have bought one of these. Now I bought a used one, because I was still skeptical about corn burning like that. But, uh, as you can see, we're at 200 degrees Fahrenheit right now. And uh, the heat that comes out of this thing is like a wood stove. We had wood here for a long time and we just got tired of hauling wood and killing trees all the time. And, uh, but you know, a forest takes forever to fucking grow. And corn, well, it's done in 63 days. 45 even, depending on the crop. And look at the heat coming out of this. I don't know if you can see that. We're at 200 right now. And it's still climbing. So anyway, there's my proof. I uh, I am getting a a bigger one already ordered. Uh, we'll make a video when I get it, and we're going to heat the whole house just with corn now. But uh, this uh, I think it's Virotech uh, Consinco uh, 575. That's the number, the model number, and they still make it that way today. I like it because there's no electronics. I said in my old other videos, I can't really see in there, but there's no electronics, you know. Basic variables, on, off, uh, variable like speed control for fans, and uh, uh, can you see the corn? No. But, there's corn in there. So, we go about one of these a day, so far. And it's cold outside, you know. We're at uh, minus 17. And we just got here not too long ago. So, and the place is still uh, getting warmer and warmer. So it's at 19. We got here was at uh, around, I think, keep it around 15, 62, 63. We keep it during the day. We're not here, so. But hey, corn stove. Or this is like a little corn furnace.
love it. Suggest to anybody who wants to buy one, go ahead. Corn produces a lot of heat. All right, Eastern Ontario, we're signing off. See you later, people.